Legend of Total War here with part 11 of my Medieval 2 Total War Let's Play campaign as England. Alright, so previously, um, King Stephen hey, has been king. absolutely smashing the Venetians, and we're trying to make our way down to finish them off, but we've landed in Byzantine territory, so we need to punish them as well, because they declared war on us. In fact, there's only like two nations that haven't declared war on us so far in this campaign. If you don't include the, the people, says so Sicily, and, um, and, um... What's it called? Uh, Russia. Oh, and the Mongols as well. But, yeah, whatever. Alright, so let's get started. So hey, his army's hey. not in great shape, but luckily the defences here are, are absolute trash. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Even the smallest Must of battles need to be fought manually dead. when using the we king, because we ought to resolve every other battle. He's, of course, the character that we're playing. The hour has come. Let us set about this butchery with a will! There's never going to be a great speech. The thing is, if I start skipping the um, the speeches in the small battles, I'll, I'll do that as I'll by instincts do it in the um, the large battles as well. So I got to keep a precedence, or else I'll forget. So yeah, you guys seem to be enjoying this campaign, which is good. Just knock down the wall, I can afford to repair it. Because it's a small target there, they'll, they'll end up destroying the entire gate house. Trying to hit that. It's a lot easier to go through the gate, just with um, catapults. Send our men through to slay our ungodly foe. Now, there's only ten. 10 generals bodyguard that we have to go up against. So I'll send Stephen in because he is brave, I think. Or was that his brother? Or his father? I don't know. Pretty sure he's brave. I really need to check his stats again. But there shouldn't be really any, any serious risk here. As long as we micro this correctly, so he stays out of it. No, 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 no. You do not do not get involved. We've got plenty of bodyguards here to die for you. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, I've lost sight of him. Where is he? Okay, good. As long as he's not in the thick of it, that's what it's all about. The enemy king is slain! A worthy enemy, but no less. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won. <laughs> by God's will, we have triumphed. We need to sack God it. Be praised. Public order won't he be maintained otherwise. Us victory. His chivalry is at such a point that he would, with Catholics, we would occupy them. I'd say. Depending on whether or not they're excommunicated. I mean, we do need to make right decisions. Like, we can't just be like the pure hard campaign where we occupy no matter what. Because public order... There's, there's no point occupying a settlement if this is going to revolt. And the king would know that as well. Um, anyway, I'm pretty sure historically, chivalrous generals sacked cities. Chivalrous kings as well. So if we have a look... So yeah, he's brave. Marks of Warrior. Merciless Mauler. Oh, that's right. We've got some pretty crappy wives, don't we? The next generation is just not happening. Um, what are we going to do about that? Because if these guys start don't start um, having some children, then our game's going to end soon. Well, I, I can always adopt people, but there's there's no rush on that. I don't need lots of family members. Alright, now I sent someone up here 
to uh, annoy the Hungarians. They besieged Vienna. So, Jacob, you're not a very good commander. He needs okay. you to uh, let's have a look here. He needs you to go after Bran. Yes. Orders. My king. Sire, as you wish. To leave a few yes. defenders here. Order. To maintain yes, public order. Okay. My yeah. king. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Besieging the cowards, my liege. Patiently yeah, don't care about Venice. We're on our way to kill them. Ships ready. As you wish, sire. Laying siege, sire. The siege so what have they got here? Plan, okay, we should be able to beat that with an order resolve. Aye, sire. But I wanted to bring in some reinforcements, just in case. My lord. Marching to war. The day is ours, sire. Dock is too. Yeah, I think we should get rid of that. As you wish, sire. Oh, oh, oh. The day is ours. Ships ready. Sire. Yes, sire. Disembarking, sire. Aye, sire. All right, that's good. Fleet ready, sire. Combining naval forces. Now, we we're with the Turks again. Yeah, because they, like, immediately attacked us. After the peace treaty, so we're heading back there. Hail my, hail my king! With hail my king! There's not as large of an army there this time. Hail my king! Yes, my. You should wait hail for um, your brother king. over here, so you can go together. You'll notice that the the garrisons in this area here are a lot larger because we know we can't fight these battles manually. How are we going over here? Starving them out, five more turns to go. I mean, he could potentially win, but, I don't know, it's an unnecessary risk. Alright, so we got, well, we got 100,000 now. We've reached the point of, of we are getting so much money that we couldn't possibly spend it each turn. So there's two things that we can do from this. We can just build whatever we want, or we can start raising heaps more troops. Now, I'm not a big fan of over-bloated militaries, because if, if at this stage of the game, you've got heaps and heaps of armies, and then all of a sudden, some economic crisis happens, you're, you're in the red. And I don't like disbanding units, so I have to end up going on, on the, on the warpath. That being said, I'm also at war with fucking every... Oh, and Holy Roman Empire, that we haven't um, gone at war with them. So yeah, we can keep our taxes fairly low for the most part. But I keep the taxes near England and the French area to be a bit higher because it can handle it because it's close to the capital. Had a few backseat driver type um, let's uh, what's it called viewers that are like, you should do this, you should do that. I can promise you guys, like, I don't want to address them. I'm just totally going to ignore them. I'm going to roleplay how I see fit. I'm not going to be making the perfect decisions every single time. Because, uh, you know, it's difficult to roleplay perfectly. But um, anyone being like, you should do this or you should do that. I'm not, I'm not even going to read your comments. So don't even bother. Like I said, I'm doing things my way. If you don't like it, there's the highway, bitch. All right, so what? Well, oh, we can't just stay here. We got to keep moving. Let's get down to Corinth. I mean, I'm probably not going to hold on to Thessalonica for that long. Hail my king! Orders. Can we leave? Oh, hang on. There's no movement. Just leave them there for the turn. Everyone always building thieves guilds. It doesn't provide any bonuses, so. Still got heaps of cash. Now, might be an idea to uh, recruit more troops out here to prevent the, fight you wish. Come closer. the Polish from um, from making any attacks. Or 
at the very least to slow them down. Alright, that should do it. Let's move on. Was I, I keep forgetting to use that general. He's supposed to go over there and recapture burn for us. Which we'll have to starve out, and even then I'm a little bit concerned about it, just because there's a large garrison in there. Assaulting castles in order resolve, you need a lot of power. Or you need to get very lucky. So yeah, I don't expect to hold any of this stuff. We're just going through Byzantine territory to get to Venice. We're going to be wiping out entire factions, not really concentrating on getting lots of cities. Losing any particular city is not a big deal. But with fewer factions left on the board, I'll have less people that I'm at war with. I don't know why the the, uh, the game hasn't like sent me any any like local English women to marry off to my family members. There's a reasonable chance of victory here. Well, didn't happen. That's all right. Vienna held on held on to Vienna a lot longer than I expected to. It's a pretty rich settlement. But like I said, we're focusing on getting rid of Venice right now. The enemy lay siege to our people, sire. And then I think I'll try and get rid of um, the Byzantine Empire, hold on to Constantinople, and then get rid of the Hungarians and then the Polish. Keeps offering me adoption candidates. It's not what I want. A new discovery that could change the course of warfare. Gunpowder. This dark powder may look innocent enough, but when brought to spark, it explodes with a force that is unmatched. This terrible weapon will make armor obsolete and render castle walls near useless. It would be wise to be the first to master its use in war. Alright, so gunpowder is now available, but well, I'm not a big fan of gunpowder weapons. I don't mind cannons, but I don't like guns. Did I make any siege equipment here? Yep. To war then, Wait, sire. Siege force reporting, the Lord. Orders. As Why didn't any of this get built? The siege goes as my lord. That's odd. I haven't seen that happen before. Marching to war. Siege force ripple. Aye, sire. And the grapples and prepare to fall. They're still excommunicated, right? Our people rule these. Yep, but they're standing with the Pope is gone up a fair bit. My standing's alright. The highest out of any factions, so that's good. Name the field of battle. We will meet you there. We'll fight them shortly. Ships admiring the end. You want us gone? Then do something about there's no need to attack them because there's nothing on them Marriage to one of your subjects so looking at this I mean we paid good money to try and get these these princesses oh they've at least started having children but unfortunately a um, a woman is not what we're looking for here you need to have male heirs even just one keep the generation going. To battle it is then, sire. Prepare to assault the walls. We lay siege. So yeah, just, siege just um, planned, siege them sire. out, starve them out for eight turns, that's fine. So am I I'm allied with Russia, aren't I? Here. Hail my king. As you will, my king, to battle. Laying siege, no hail my king. And don't intend to assault With the settlement, honor, but it's good to to have um, the siege equipment there, just in case you know if an army comes down here. It looks like 
we're going to have to make or break with this. We'll just give it a shot. Okay, don't let these, these two armies meet up with each other. So, kill this guy. The day is ours, sire. Sire, as you wish, sire. No. Okay, um... We should ransom yeah. them because they're this one. The day is ours, sire. Yes. Order. Marching to war. The siege goes as planned. I wonder if we just go straight to Constantinople. I mean, the, um, the we could actually end up finishing the, the Byzantine Empire quite quickly if we, okay. if we do go about that. Yes, sire. Moving to crush the oh, enemy. Oh, the odds are not good on this. Yeah, because those are, those perform really well in order resolve. Let's just see if we can yes. buff up our numbers a bit with some units. Just some crappy stuff should do it. An order. There wish they Barely even makes a born, difference. Alright, good. Victory! Nothing can stop us, sire! Victory! These people we don't need to sack the settlements. We can Lord. afford to occupy it. The public order is fine. Uh, another another thing that some people have noted was that if the king is like you know away from where his dreadful um, dreaded sons or brothers or whatever are operating, then the the king's orders would not have met them in time. But my thoughts are that the king would give the order to make the attack, and that he would tell them what to do in advance, not be like, oh look, my brother has taken the settlement without my knowledge. I should tell him to occupy the settlement. Now, all of that stuff would have been... All of the orders would have been given well in, in advance, before they even had left Bucharest. The, um... The king would have sent... Sent a letter to his... I think it's his brother, saying... Go, take Bran, occupy the settlement. Don't sack the people. So, yeah, to just to counter that. I really don't want to have to be explaining all these things either. Just I'm going to play the game how I want to, and I just don't want people. People are going to criticize no matter what I do, but I'm just given that little justification. Hail my king, my lord. All right, so let's get rid of these guys on, because they're in the way. Honor and glory await England, men. Yeah, I think I might get rid of the Byzantine Empire. I'll go. East to Constantinople first. It's a, uh, it's a better reward out that way. I've heard men speak well of me because I do not throw lives away needlessly, and I gain victory for those who follow me. I will not use false modesty and deny these things. Indeed, I say proudly that they are true. I will give you victory if you have the guts to fight like devils when I ask it. Our foes, the foul Byzantines, cannot be trusted by honest Englishmen. Keep your wits about you, men, and strike as soon as the opportunity presents. <laughs> Remember, my enemies know that I am a brave man by repute, and I do not willingly keep company with poltroons. You are all picked brave men here, and the enemy know this. Your bravery already unmans them. Let's do the rest and finish them! Not a particularly interesting speech, but that's fine. Now we have a lot of missile units here, so let's make use of that and get into a, a skirmish. I think they've got artillery of their own though. Good. Keep the cavalry back because we do not want them getting hit.
Yeah, sometimes I really do think that standard shot is a better choice. But, hell, if we even land one hit, that's fine. I do find that the AI is far more accurate with their shots than, than us, but whatever, the AI is always cheated on harder difficulties. It's nowhere near as bad on Medieval 2 than it is on Buddy Warhammer. Well, that's, that's actually really good. Actually, I'll tell you what I should do. Send the cavalry around. Here you go with them. To flank this and get rid of it. Anyway, it's our crossbows are always going to do all the real damage here. I think it's aiming for the artillery. I don't really want it to do that. I want to aim for the troops in the center. There was a chance here they might hit their own troops. very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Now our main infantry line is not as good as theirs, so we need to charge into their flanks. God damn, would you just fuck off? Because you want to get a good charge into them, you don't just want them to go into melee. That's not good enough, but these guys are fairly slow. They're good, that's been taken out. I don't want any more of this. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. <laughs> they flanked us, but then only half the approach. enemy force remains. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. So, present a good ransom, I think. Let's see if they can afford it. Of course, we don't want them to actually afford it. I want it to be too much for them. Because I'm not interested in fighting these guys again. It's much more profitable to finish them off than to get a, to get enough big fat ransom. With the exception of if you actually manage to get their king. The king is usually a good one to ransom off, but they very rarely accept it because it's so, so fucking expensive. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. By St. George, we've captured the enemy's general. That'll teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Now he can rest at our leisure. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. So you unit up here that's getting away. There's only two. I wouldn't worry about it. Go back to Constantinople and this tell, tell your emperor victory. the, of the defeat only men of great virtue and valor. Not that they stood a chance to begin with. They had to come. They just with no cavalry. What are you, what are you gonna do? Ah! So you're broke. Looks like you've got too much of a navy. Glory, honor, victory. Right, public order is a bit of a concern here. So, I don't know if we can leave right away, because he's... How did he gain more chivalry from that battle? Well, whatever. 
There must be a lot of spies in here because I'm I'm certain I snacked it. Right, we'll have to stay here for a short time because we can't leave here without it revolting. Anyway, that'll give us a bit of a chance, I think, to uh, to bolster our infantry numbers as soon as. I mean, it'll only be with it, with you know crappy infantry, but that's all we've got here. But we can't leave. Talk is cheap, I say. Orders. Okay, I don't think there's a lot else to do. Could you possibly beat this? Yeah, that should be easy. Occupy it because there's English Englishmen living there. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I forgot about the plague that was there. So yeah, a lot of these guys are going to die because of that. A little bit of a trap. I mean, what we could do is take them out and just send them over here, but that'll spread the bloody plague. Or I could send them on suicide missions over here to smash them. Now the Polish, they are, yeah, they're excommunicated. Even though, do they have an alliance with the um, Pope anymore? No. Good. I think they'll just have to stay here and just wait out the, um, the plague. I've got, like, multiple Master Thieves Guild. We'll keep this one here in Venice, but I think I've got one in Cairo. Now, I'll delete that one, I'll destroy that one. So that gives an opportunity to maybe get a Teutonic Knight Guild so it gets some public health. Got a whole other army waiting here. Doesn't look like it's really needed, but one day we'll end up going to war with Sicily, and that's actually a long way to travel. See, this is costing me a lot of money. I know what I'll do with them. Send them around to go like clean up some rebels. As you wish. We'll make camp here, sire. <laughs> I keep forgetting Hail about you. You've been king. sitting out here in the Arabian Hail desert for a very long king. time, haven't you? Yes. We shall continue tomorrow. Thanks. I didn't need him, so it doesn't matter. Yes, your highness. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's get some construction done. So what do we need here at London? We can start building gunsmiths. They don't provide an economic bonus. Not that we really need that, though. But this is our capital. Most of our money is going to be made right here. Uh, but now we can build the dockyard so we can increase our trade routes to three. And get better ships. So yeah, we can afford to build expensive buildings, although I've already used up quite a lot of my money. Well, not every building is going to be that expensive though, so it's fine. Almost no point building mines in Baghdad just because public order, well, because the distance to capital, it's so corrupt that you're only going to get like 20% of the finances from it anyway. To improve the economy in settlements like Baghdad, it's more about uh, getting public order. stick around here for four turns. Well, whatever, just, just do that anyway.
He may have no choice but to stick around there for four turns. Oh shit, my money might not actually stretch. And it didn't, we didn't get anything in Magdeburg. Alright, so at... Oh, we almost finished... We're building that up with Sophia. Oh, whatever. Okay, so that's 2,400. But that's so much more useful than... Okay, let me just see, what else? Okay, that's an expensive building. Why don't we try for something a bit cheaper that's also going to provide public order. Like a city hall. And that way Magdeburg can purchase something. Almost no point recruiting in this settlement. There's not that many troops around here. And it's just going to take attrition due to, um... Plague. Let's move on. Okay, he's probably going to be fucked in there. I doubt he'll be able to repel that. Depending on what they've got in that army. I mean, it is a citadel, so I don't know, he might. The enemy has surrounded us. We're besieged. Oh, well, whatever. That was probably actually a bad choice. Should have gone for nice Teutonic, but whatever. Damn it, fucking daughters. It's the last thing we need right now. I need more daughters, like I need a hemorrhoid in my ass. King. With honor, sir. Right, so yeah. Hail my king. Let me rush with that. How are we going over here? Actually, this one, um, public order here has deteriorated. I wonder if that has anything to do with King Stephen. If we took him out, Hail would it king. help? No, very much. Hail doesn't. my king. Okay, that extra garrison there might make a difference with public order, but I'm not certain. Because we only need to get to 70% to stop it from revolting. Main thing is, we got to spread Catholicism, I think. Ah, I see. The, with the triumph bonus dissipating, that could be a bit of a problem. Alright, we'll see how we go. I mean, his, his piety is quite high, so we should be spreading Catholicism fairly quickly. Over here. I look forward to fighting you. A lot of crossbows, so he. Problem is, there's a lot of trash in this army. <coughs> Excuse me. If I fought the battle manually, I wouldn't have any problem, but he's not the king. Oh, good. The uh, the uh, the plague went away. So now we can recruit from here, so I can go and take Frankfurt. Doesn't look like there's going to be a lot we can do this turn. My lord, to war then, sire. The day is ours. Ah! The day this is ours. rebel up sire. here. I think you can stand right yes, near Jerusalem. Uh, no, Jacob, you can stay. Actually, no. Hail we'll take king. you to be a governor somewhere. Sire. Assembling can just a mighty public order host with of your troops. Hail, my king. You're somewhat chivalrous, so... I don't know, I might take you back to Damascus. With honor, sire. Hail my king! Yes, my liege. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Fuck off. As you wish, sire. The day is ours, sire! Alright, let's take Rhodes. My lord. To war then, sire. The day is ours, sire. This is English soil now. 
There's not a lot of money gained from massacring the population, so occupy it. Under the king's orders. Okay, just get a few peasants to maintain public order. By your command. Okay, yeah. Public order is easily maintained here. Get rid of them. And then we only have one more settlement to go to. The day is ours, sire. Finish off the Venusians. Moving ashore, sire. Orders. Ice, my lord. They should be able to pull this off. Doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. All right. Let's build some stuff because there's nothing else to do. Okay, finances are starting to go a little bit low again, so it might be an idea to start taxing some settlements up a bit more. Got to build things that are going to improve economy because I need more of that cash. Nothing economic about any of that. At this stage in the game, ports are definitely a good investment because now the population is getting up, trade is worth expanding. Uh, let's see, Prague has a pretty good amount of mining, doesn't it? Not that great. There's not much trade. What's going on with Prague? Uh, the trade's being blocked somewhat by this guy. Well, we can increase the taxes. Might as well go with the mining network. Cannon towers at Leon are not going to help us because we can't fight these battles. I don't think we have had, had a single defensive siege battle in this campaign because I've never kept my my king in, in that sort of situation. He's always been out there attacking. Which is good because I don't like defensive battles. Defensive sieges. I find that they take too long and they're not impressive when you win anyway. So like anyone, any fucking trained monkey. I get so many people come in and say, Oh, I want one... A defensive siege with only a hundred men. Come on, a fucking trade monkey can win any defensive siege, just about. Just. Defending is not boastworthy. Attacking is. Alright, moving on. Care that they're disappointed with me. Uh, you, you're running out of time to have children. You're running out of time. Just want one son. Just one. Just get the dirty deed done with. I know it's unpleasant. Just fucking do it. Okay, so that got us through a little bit extra, but we're still at 65%. So. Alright, well. Since there's a unit here that has only one upkeep, it's criminal not to put a, a fort down for that. At once, my liege. Building a bastion of defense. Hail my king. Sire. Just disband that one. So that we got more space for other units. And we can see here, yeah, Catholicism's growing, getting there. It takes a while.
Three turns until surrender. Six turns. Alright. Let's take these guys and send them to Frankfurt. I mean, they may not win. But, well, who knows. But really, just keeping the Polish under pressure for the time being would be worth it. Stop them from taking any more settlements back. As you wish, sire. That's probably more than he can handle, but if he can just reduce their numbers, that's fine, because I can I can pump out more armies. Sorry. I don't need these men here. Orders. Just a small garrison. The public order here is never going to be a problem. Even if it was full heresy. Yeah, it's, it's never going to revolt. Hail my king! Yes, my liege. I don't think there's anything else to do, because I, I, like I said, I can't leave Thessalonica yet. Start training some more troops at Smyrna. Maybe I'll, I'll send them up north. Ah, uh, this is something I could do. Ooh, I think the chances of success here are actually pretty low. But let's just try anyway. Good. Yeah, ransom them. How the fuck did they end up dying? The day is ours, sire. Maybe he died in battle. Don't know. Whatever the case is, there is no hope for them now, because that went really well for us. Oh, piece of shit. Now, if you lose, you're wiped out. Listen, get a ship over here. Leave me be, infidel. Empty. Here's an idea. Send these troops that were left behind. I uh, can send them to go and back up Bran, but can't do that. I wonder, can you sally out here with any. No, I don't think you should do that. Alright, looks like we just get straight to building. Let's see, here we go. I think there's good silver mines in Stockholm. A few settlements here that are borderline problems, but 70% is not a big deal. Well, I mean, it, they won't revolt at 70%, they revolt at, at 65 or lower. I think when it comes to Nicosia, the, what it needs is religious um, influence, because yeah, there's hardly any Catholicism there. Settlements that are under siege won't revolt, so the fact that it loses public order for every turn that's under siege is almost irrelevant. In fact, no, it totally is irrelevant. Alright, let's move on. And we still had a bit of money left to spare, but... Save it for another turn. What I would really like to see is the king or the heir have a son. That's what I really want. Maybe I should have left a bigger garrison in there, or maybe I should just have a full stack in every settlement. Alright. Fingers crossed you live through this. I mean, they have to attack a citadel here. They've only got a captain, but you're a piece of shit. So let's just see. Here we go. 
Good, you, you live to fight another day. The king sent order to ransom them, but him not being particularly chivalrous, ignored the order and executed the prisoners. Victory! They did, after all, come for his head. The king wasn't very happy about that. The enemy lay siege to our but at the same time, desire. understands... You know, he, his life was at risk. Of course he's gonna fucking kill them. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, better to have the Knights of St. John, but... See, all of these guys are still in good breeding age. Jacob, Jacob. He's down here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um, Hail my king! By your will, sire, we shall engage. Uh, um, glory! I really want him to get married, but victory. I don't have any princesses to send to him or anything like that. All right, now this should finish off Venice. To war, then, sire. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, just hold on a second. We need to make sure that there's a boat near. But fuck off. You want us gone? Aye, sire. Need to make sure there's a boat nearby so that if they do lose, they can retreat to the boat. But. Ships ready. And the motherfucker, they're not gonna win that. Fleet ready, sire. Yes, my lord. Engaging the enemy. We will not surrender. Well, we're gonna have to recruit the ships at, at Rhodes. Engage. Can't hire any mercenary boats there. <laughs> Was that an attack? Okay, public order here is improved. Looks like one of the uh, the um, the spies got kicked out, which is good. But there's no way he'll still be able to leave just yet. Public order is not good enough yet. What's going on here? Why is it taking you so long? I seek an honourable engagement, dear foe. Alright, I think we should send him down here to go and either recapture Sophia if it gets taken, or um, lift the siege, and from here you can get yourself some more troops. Um, so at Bran, firstly repair all this garbage. Oh, you can get some better troops from here, but there's no time, we've got to get moving right away. Sandwich Sir. these guys. My lord. As you wait, my king. We shall oh, you be fucking them, kidding. Alright, any mercenaries in the area? An order. They'll wish they'd never been born, oh, sire. Ransom them yes. off. Victory! Nothing can stop. So that'd be a good unit to um, to leave behind here if on the, on a fort. It's only, only one man. What's this? Thieves Guild. We don't need those. He did ask me to recruit a spy, so why not? Your will, sire. Now over here, I. I just don't have much confidence in them winning that. We're better off come closer. smashing the guys out here. Marching to war. The day is ours, sire. To the day is ours, sire. So you just harass them out here. And I'll send reinforcements from time to time. Yes. We can go no further today, sire. So that starves out this turn. In fact, we could we could assault that, but why not? Just just wait out the extra turn. All right, let's build more stuff. I'm surprised we haven't heard a peep out of the Mongols. I said, I'm not surprised. I've seen this happen many times. 
In fact, if you're not present where the Mongols are, usually they fuck around like absolute crazy. They're really only a major threat for the player. And if you're just not in the area, they don't know what the fuck to do. In fact, I've never seen them build up a large empire. With the exception of my peasant campaign, they built up a fairly large empire on that before I was able to get rid of them. I'm sure people are going to be like, Oh, I really want you to see that peasant campaign. At least show us that bit. Nope. Go go get me millions of views on the other episodes and I'll release, I'll release more content. I've even had people say, Oh, I'll pay you to make more episodes. No, no I'm not going to accept it. Here's the thing, I don't want to make more episodes of it. The pain in the ass. But what I have said is that I am open to redoing the peasant campaign again from scratch. Because the thing is, like, that stuff was recorded friggin' five years ago nearly. I have cash, oh well. The, the quality is shit. Because it was recorded, I was still, I mean, I was still using Baddy Cam back then, but it was like, I wasn't using as high quality settings, and it was, it's transcoded really badly, and, because my editing software is on my Mac, I can't, I don't have any editing software on my PC, so I had to transcode it from PC format to Mac format. It just, it's just shit. That's all I can say. So yes, I just, my lord. Sometimes King it's better to seat. just not make shit content. And your posts, the enemy fleet is upon us. Sire, the battle is lost. Hey, oh, my fucking army deserted me. I should have assaulted. <laughs> well, at least we get this. Victory! And, uh, you have permission Another to sack the settlement. settlement falls before us. Victory! Well, at least you're not trapped in there this time. The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. Sure, why not? Still just daughters. I mean, they're gonna go through menopause soon. So Venice has been reconciled, we have a traitor to our people, Captain Perkin, who would have, I doubt he got bribed, because it, it would have said he got bribed otherwise. Um, so they're just rebels there now, so either the Venetians will deal with it or they won't. But they're no longer um, excommunicated, so maybe going after them right now isn't completely necessary. Command me, sire. Doesn't look like he wants to make this attack. I will defeat you honorably, my worthy foe. Alright, so yeah, you can see Catholicism's getting right up there. Let's uh, make this a huge stone wall. Oh, there we go. Cairo, um, sorry. Sicily declared war on us. Right after I set this guy away. Now, you're the youngest member of our dynasty, so I really don't want to waste your life, but you should be fine to deal with that. Alright, you need three more units from here. Yes, Hail my king. I can just with lower taxes honor, here. Um, prince William. If you die, then we get a new prince, and I can marry... Oh, this guy's nuts. Oh, no. Having a nuts fa uh, faction leader. That'll make for interesting episodes, that's for sure. Hail my king, sire. With honor, sire. Hail my king. As right, you good. command, my liege. Um, this guy is completely bonkers nuts. So, he executed them. I, completely I disobeying. Um... Orders. At least this army here didn't turn desertion. Set up. Okay. 
The day is out. Yeah, just keep keep um, smashing them every little turn. To war, then, sire. The day is ours, sire. Sire. Until we can send a someone over here to finish them off. So how are we going up this way? Four turns until surrender, and now that that's finally done over here, this huge city yes. under our control. It's off. Wish they'd never been born, sire. So that wasn't really a bad place Victory. for it. Victory! Nothing can stop us, sire. We should get to Granada, eliminate the Muslims from this area entirely. Okay, we're probably going to need... Actually, the public order's pretty good, but... Hang on, we'll just see. Master Thieves Guilds everywhere. The thing is, on Stainless Steel 6.4, it's great to have lots of Master Thieves Guilds. But in this, there's no benefit. You only need one. Okay, no. No need for daily races. Yearly races, just fine. Command me, sire. We shall slaughter them! This guy's a good commander. Such is the fate of good, and Granada is not well defended. Is this settlement yes, still under siege? Sire. Yep. Moving to crush the enemy. How many settlements do we have now? 65. The main concern here is that my king is sitting around here doing nothing, and he's the guy that I can do the most with, and he's also got one of the worst armies. Always a fucking case, isn't it? Well, that's the thing, you know, it started off professional, but then you just gotta keep moving. You can't be like, oh, I lost one of my knights, I'm just gonna troll all the way back to fucking England to go get some more knights. No, you just gotta keep fucking going. Hail my king! So you're gonna sit Hail here in Damascus and help grow that. Everything else seems to be going alright, everywhere else. Sacro could use some defenders, the Hungarians will be on their way soon. So yeah, now now Sicily is at war with us for, for no fucking reason. Never never did anything against the Sicilians, they're like, nope, just attack them because we can. And they failed anyway. But they'll have to be dealt with in time. Like I said, what we really need to be doing, focusing on eliminating factions. I think the next one we're going to eliminate is the, the Byzantines. Um, then Venice. Then Poland, I think. We'll, we'll see how we go. Maybe Hungary first. Like I said, we'll see. And, like I said, I don't want to respond to... Um, to comments in the comment section anymore, but I do want to address them in in videos. This is so much easier to do that because I don't ignore you guys. I just don't want to respond in the comments. Um, but something that uh, I think a few people have asked is, I mean, I get this question all the fucking time. Why don't I ever go with the armorers? You know, why, why don't I ever, especially earlier on in the campaign, why don't I get armor? Doesn't it make it better to go get make my troops better to get armor? Yeah, it does make the troops better, but it's a it's not an economic building, and the amount of armor that it provides is shit. For one thing, it only provides armor for the crappest units, um, you know, at the lower levels. You know, for example, a leather smith will not help a knight, um, but, you know, fixes up peasants. And that the armor rating really doesn't make any difference in regard to tactical battles. Yes, it makes a bit of more of a difference in terms of order resolve, but you got to understand is that when I fight battles, I'm fight fighting to break the enemy. I don't worry about their stats. Stats mean nearly nothing to me, and I think more about unit types. Morale is the most important um, factor for me in Medieval 2, and armor does not improve morale at all. You know, if it was plus one experience to all units, that's a different story. And even then, I wouldn't get that right away. Some people, what they like to do, I think, is like, they hit the ground running and go straight for their most expensive units. And that is not the way to play, because 
especially in the later Total Wars. I mean, you can get away with a little bit in Medieval 2 because the expensive units are not that much more expensive than peasants. Uh, truth be told, they're way more cost-effective than, than peasants anyway. One of the reasons I made the peasant campaign so fucking difficult. Um, not cost-effective at all. Um, but the way to hit the rank grunt running with Medieval 2 is hire whatever's available and just fucking kill someone straight away. Alright, let's move on. It's good the Spanish haven't been doing anything lately. Oh, I forgot to re recruit here. The enemy lay siege. Fire. And I forgot to move them away. No big deal, then. They failed me, so they can Fire. go and die. We should man the oars and retreat. Yeah, you better run, bitch. Until morning, sire. So we'll have to send someone back over there to reclaim Ajeshio. The enemy has surrounded us. We are All in due time. Uh, merchant skilled. Sh sure. More daughters. Ah, oh, finally, we have a son. Okay. Everything is okay now. Our our um our lineage is secure. Doesn't matter if they don't have any more. So Prague came under siege. Yeah, you don't want to sally out against that, but An order. Okay, it doesn't look like Constantinople is particularly well defended, and it is a large city. I guess the Byzantines haven't been focusing much on their economy, yes, otherwise that'd be a huge city by now, easily. It starts off as the largest city in the, in the game. Yes. So I don't know what I'm going to do in terms of getting these knights to him, but they're there in case that he needs them. Okay, now over here, we are still stuck here just with this shit. The problem here is that the population is just becoming so bloated because of his, his chivalry. Chivalrous generals as governors can be a big problem sometimes. Hail my, hail my king! Command me, sire. Uh, yeah, grab yourself a mercenary spearman and attack Renata. They'll wish they'd never been born, sire. Should be able to assault that, no problem. Sire. Okay, public order here he went downhill, be but that's okay. Butcher, Throw on the daily races, that'll fix things up. I was actually surprised the public order was, was that good to begin with. And looks like the Moors are going to make some semblance of a counter-attack, but Ships ready. doesn't concern me too much. And the grapples and prepare to board. Victory is ours, sire. Orders. Oh, we maybe you can get you over here to um to stop them. As you wish, sire. The day is ours, sire. To war, then, sire. All right, what else are we doing? How long has this got to go? Three turns. The Turks are putting up one of the worst defenses I've ever seen. Okay, what's the problem here? Why are we having issues with public order? It's just, there's not a lot of heresy, not much to really warrant hiring a priest. But, yeah, it's just grown too quickly. But it's at 70%, so it'll be okay. Okay, at London. I don't really need to hire a gunsmith here, because it's, you know, bringing, dragging cannons from London to the frontier. Just build the cannons on the frontier. That's, that makes more sense. Um, focus on money. Hang on, what's, Naval Academy doesn't provide money.
So at Iconium, what do we need? Close the warehouse. So I'm still trying to focus on getting more cash. Because more cash means more troops. More troops means bigger garrison so I can defend against these fuckers all over the place. Should have access to another crusade soon. Let's have a look. Two suits since the last one. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Probably could have won it if I fought it manually, but it's not part of the campaign. See how things sort of go to shit while my king just sits there at Thessalonica? Man, things aren't going to shit. I mean, we're taking settlements. It's just that... It's like for every settlement that we take, we lose a settlement just because I can't be everywhere all at once. This was part of the challenge of the campaign, I knew it would be like this, and we explained in the first episode, where... Because our, our frontier is just all over the place. Um... You know... For our, for our king to be everywhere, it's impossible. And for the fact he's sitting here as garrison is really bad. Fine, whatever. I much prefer Knights of St. John, but whatever. So, Earthquake at Alexandria. Okay, well, that'll fix public order for a little while. Hail, my king! Alright. I want you to take the long trek towards yes, Sicily. Towards, um, to Tripoli over here. I want you to take it. If you can. Looks like they've got a large garrison over there, so you'll have to staff them out. Not a big deal. Alright. Take this for me. Yes, sir. Moving to crush the enemy. Good, and you have permission Victory. to say it. Nothing can stop us, sire. Okay, now Victory. the Moors have been kicked out of these people now kneel before us, my lord. Well, they've still got armies over here. We need to make your attack on Marrakesh. I'm surprised that the uh, the Spanish have just been sitting around doing nothing. I mean they could have taken Leon by now easily. They're very passive. I didn't even bother to recruit any units in Leon because I just thought that they'd come straight back over here. Fuck it. If they're not coming, I'll recruit some garrison and have free upkeep anyway. Yes. Alright, now these l armies over here are quite large, but I'm confident that you can at least do some damage to them. Alright, leave behind a unit of Billman. Go smash them. They'll wish they'd never been born, sire. Okay, so at least we're a Catholic majority here. But still, I, I think the main problem is that we have spies in here. Um, if we hire a spy... The thing is, having a spy inside the settlement doesn't increase the chance of kicking out a spy. It does reduce the chance of spies getting back in. So if we kick out the spy by, by chance and have a spy in our settlement, hopefully it'll stop them from getting back in. Um, don't know why they'd make this attack over here. Let's see if... The odds aren't actually that much in our favor. I still think we'll win. But they're bringing more guys over here still. I want to make a beeline for Constantinople. Yes. Marching, sir. Move. Just recruit some more troops here. Help keep it under control. Okay, you might just be able to lift this siege. They must be absolutely bankrupt if they couldn't afford that. No, you're not ever going to be adopted. The day is ours, 
Okay, at least we saved Prague from, from being taken. Now, if we come down here to Vienna, there might be a chance of us taking it. By your command, march to Slim chance, but whatever. Sire, continuing later. Sent him another three units. Sire. My lord. Yes, sire. Joining forces, my lord. Yes. Alright. So it doesn't look like there's anything else to do. That's got two turns until surrender. That'll surrender in two turns. Good. And get them moving again soon. But the main thing here is I really want to get him up and moving, but he just... We just can't fucking move him. This is why Dread is better. Because Dread provides just as much public order bonuses as, as Chivalry, but it doesn't grow the population. Which, you know, sometimes growing population is useful, but at this stage in the game, don't need it. Every settlement's large enough. Go with public order. Because a heretic could show up at any moment. Make sure it's... Got something to counter it. Okay, it's how it goes up. Yep, get some more mining. Could you just actually go with go with that? Because it'll likely have some corruption. Because he's got plague, not a big deal. Just leave it be. Here's the thing, if I was to build cannon towers, it's not going to help us at all, because it, I don't think cannon towers provide that much bonus in order resolve, but if ever my king had to come over there to, to recapture it, they've got to deal with fucking cannon towers, which are really nasty to deal with. Best way to deal with cannon towers is just avoid them. Right. I think that's everything. Nothing else I need to do. So, does anyone else... Nope, they're not... It's okay, we only needed the one, son. Okay, moving on. We have their port blockaded, sire. Sire, the oh, yeah, I forgot about them again. It doesn't matter. The enemy fleet is if anything, just keeps their navies busy. I can easily train new, new navies. Big disappointment was, of course, that army at um, Iracleon just deserting. We could have finished off the Venetians. I just wanted to give them some backup. But no, you had to go and betray me. There will be a punishment for that. All of all of those men will die eventually. If the if the Venetians already haven't executed them. But right the now it's just not a priority to go. To hunt down traitors style. while we're at war with so many factions. With absolutely no hope of of trying to um get peace treaties. It just, it just won't happen. And if you you end up having to pay a fortune to get a peace treaty, and they're just going to betray us straight away. It's just like you pay, let's say Poland. Pay Poland like 50,000 for a peace treaty, and the next turn they just attack you again. It's a waste of money. My lord, where be seen? People often wonder, why don't you ever use diplomacy? Well, because it's worthless. Here's my diplomacy. It's my sword. It was shoved up your fucking ass. Okay? That's how I do diplomacy. Ancient skill to Cordoba. Um, sure, why not? Be good if we had some artillery, but we don't. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Right, that was good. Victory! Such is the fate of all. Right, let's hope that you can actually take this. My king. Yes, sire. Moving to crush the enemy. See, now the public order's gotten even worse. I'm not really here. 
Wasn't this supposed to be done last turn? Oh, maybe. Well, whatever. That was Antioch, I think I was thinking of. Uh, public order won't, it shouldn't revolt. So he, they've also sent in a Byzantine because they really want to keep him stuck in here, which is not good for me. He needs to be mainly resolving fights. He's, he's my best hope of conquering the Byzantines. Fleet ready, sire. Set sail. Yes. All right, lift that siege. We shall slaughter them, my lord. A wise and fair. Um, she's too far away from the king. Uh, the king doesn't give a fuck. No. Execute the prisoners. <laughs> Right, let's kick him out completely and invade. The Mongols declared war on Poland, so that means that they must be around here. They must be at Kiev. Now, this is what I was saying before. Depending on where they show up, they have a target settlement. It took them fucking forever to get here, but this is their target settlement. They'll occupy this. Once they've occupied this, then they'll really start expanding. Because I think a lot of the units that the Mongols have actually have no upkeep. So that's why they've got so much money. Not to mention they can actually go in Jihad as well. I mean, the Mongols... The Golden Horde... Mm. The initial Mongol invasion, they were pagans. They eventually converted to Islam, I think. But that's like 13th, 14th, 15th century type shit. I mean, it would kind of make sense for them to convert to Islam after... I think it was at Kublai Khan who choked on his own vomit after getting drunk and died. I can't remember. Um... Let me just see. Can, if you leave, Hail does it improve public king. order? It doesn't doesn't decrease it by much, but Hail you still can't king. leave. So if it was at ninety percent, we can leave. Well, that's just him. Don't don't forget the garrison as well. So there's still a lot of unrest. That's now our biggest problem, and there's nothing we can do about that except get rid of the spies that are in there. And that'll just take time. Okay, I'm going to raise a new army here to retake both Rhodes and um, conquer that. So this over here, they've showed up just in time to to try and prevent us. Hey, now they'll either, either starve us out or they won't. I need you to get rid of this army here. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Ugh. So they've got some Glory. money. Honor, Keep bashing him. Victory! Oh, Hail my king! Okay, here's Hail what you do. You king. hit there. As you come Hail my king! By your will, that way it's still sire, we shall being staffed out. By God's will, we have yet <sighs> an honorable, glorious victory! Hail my king! <laughs> I just keep beating down on these guys to make sure honor, that. Sire. As you will, my king. Yes. An honorable. They just do not defend against the saddle. By God's will, we have triumphed. As you command, my liege. Laying siege, noble sire. Hail, my king. By your will, sire, we shall engage. An honorable, glorious there we go. They're all at the four As corners now, so they can't touch battle. each other. So these two sound. here, they can Your only arms. help if these guys sell you, and I doubt... They actually might do it because... Um, they're not going to de detect them properly. Hail my king. Let me just make Hail sure that we've king. got the best chances we can, and hire an additional unit. But yeah, we should be able to take that. Now, we will also should be taking burn if they sell you out here. My king. I hope so. Now over here. Nope. They wish they'd never be. What's the born, chances sir? you guys can beat this? Marching to war. I think we can win that. Oh, st still, you know, we won. Because I need these guys to be. 
constantly recruiting. That's why I didn't want to wait for them to starve out. Okay, that's built. Oh, hang up. We got got to protect Zagreb. Let's build. Okay, that's cool, let's move on. Surely the, the Spanish don't have that much money. I mean, they've only got the one castle. So this guy here should die. Good. And now look at that, the public order's under control. Hopefully that was the guy causing all of the public order problems. Okay, so they're actually going to sally out here, but I'm confident we'll win. Because we'll, we'll have our other army come in and back up. Good. Glory. Definitely Honor. sack the settlement. Victory! Victory, my liege! A most noble conquest! So they sell the here as well, but we should be fine. And we starved them for like eight turns. They're like one third the strength they used to be. Good. By God's will, we have triumphed! There's English people living there. The king commands that you occupy it. Don't harm the population. Conquered. Bad enough they've been starving for the past 16 years, if you want to... Because it's, it's two turns per year, but characters only age six months per turn. It's a bit bizarre how they did this in this game. I can understand why they want to make it two turns per year instead of like six months per year. Because if you make it six months per per year, then this game lasts a fucking 800 turns. And it's okay with Rome Total War because there's no like historical events that matter. But in this, like the game progresses through time. Like no one wants to sit around for, well, very few people want to sit around for 600 turns before they can get to Americas. It's unnecessary. Um... Join the crusade to Tunis. I would be The Holy Bible to... may preach peace, but when it is Christendom itself that is threatened, then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel, who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the holy places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross, and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. It wasn't my first choice, I probably should have checked it last turn, but oh well. Now that's not a crusade that the king should join. Although public order is now finally under control. Now he could join the crusade to get down to um, to here. And are they still excommunicated? No, they're, they're not. So I probably won't join the crusade with the king. But at least, at least he's able to leave now. Near the end of the episode here as well. So just like I said, the uh, they've, they've taken Kiev. This is now owned by the Mongols. So we'll probably start seeing their asses over here soon. They're, they're going to wreck the Polish, which is good. But then there's a, you know, a greater threat. Sire. As you wish. I think we're better off if you just attack their armies out here for the time being. The day is ours, sire. The day is ours, sire. 
Because if we had besieged that, they would have just come over there and, and sallied out and stopped us. You're going to go on crusade. Hail my king! That, that, that guy needs to be on in a castle. So right there's a good spot for a... Uh, not a castle, a fort. Um, Hail my king! Sire. Yes, my liege. Building oh, I should have put them on crusade. Oh well, there's no rush. Hail my king! Orders. So the Pope likes us because of that. That's good. And we got 500 florins, which is nothing. You're also okay. going on crusade. Yes, sire! Moving to crush the enemy! Such is the fate of all who oppose us! An order. We shall yeah. Victory! Nothing yeah. can stop us, sire! So, I don't know if this guy here, he's not going to be able to make it to Tunis before the other guy. He's he's going to go to Lachesio first, obviously. I'm afraid not, my liege. I'm afraid not, so need to make sure he's got some ships waiting for him there. Get some at Marseille as well. I'm going to make sure we do not lose him out at sea. That would fucking suck. Even if, even though, if we put him out on the um, on the boat, no no Christian or no Catholic faction should attack us uh, because we'll get excommunicated. But still, best not to leave unnecessary risks when it comes to battles that we can't fight manually. Come if we can't control on, the sire. situation, then let's plan for the worst. They wish they'd never been born, sire. <laughs> Recommend you, asshole. Such is the fate of all who oppose us. <laughs> Victory! Move! You need to hope a bit to It's a very me. fertile territory here, but looks a bit like it says medium fertility. Hail, my king! Um. I mean, it would really help if you can go on crusade, but the Sicilians are not excommunicated, so... Well, you could just bypass it. But still, there's this guy here. That one there is no threat. But if we attack this, then that'll stand in our way. Name the field of battle. We will meet you there. Oh, he got killed by lots of damage from the, uh, the earthquake. Hail my king! You're the you're the faction here, aren't you? Maybe you should be the one to go out this way. Hail my king! Because if he if he dies, yes, I don't really care too much. Because hail my king! He's he's going to be a very bad king. Hail my king! Hail my king! Okay, you can have three different hail, units hail here. Hail my king! Hail my king! And you can go hail on crusade. Hopefully king. that'll not make you too too crazy. Excuse me. Alright. So we're able to finally leave here. Hail my king. I hope so. Okay, how many years do we need to leave behind? Let's king. see. Ordered by your command. Just need to get to seventy okay, good. So with the um with those with the spy dead, they shouldn't be able to do anything more. Religious unrest will continue to go down. What we need is the mayor's palace, because that'll provide a hell of a lot of public order. Yeah, that'll maintain Hail it. My king. Yes, my liege. We shall continue to Alright. Your chances of actually winning here should be pretty good because we there's two generals bodyguards in there, and they don't usually perform very well. The only thing that's gonna cause us any issues is the Byzantine infantry. Good. Is the fate of it's a lot of money as well, opposes. so that'll that'll fill our coffers up for the well. falls before one turn or so. Victory! But still, depriving them of their capital—that's great. And once we come down here and take Corinth, all they'll have is roads left. My king. 
to see what else there is to do. Alright, we might just do a bit of construction then end the episode there, because we just hit an hour and a half. Still got a few episodes left with King Stephen. No, 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 those are obsolete now. I don't really like building naval academies. I mean, it does provide um, experience for your ships, but I much prefer just having more ships. The way to do that is to get more money. Here, so Hail my king. punch them back. I could put these guys on crusade, couldn't I? Engage. I mean, they're not they're not going to be fighting um, Hail my king. the target, but that doesn't really matter too much. Hail I mean, you can king. go say there's no rule play, which is historically king. accurate, blah blah blah, but Glory, I don't fucking care. Honor, victory. They're Muslims, and this is a, a crusade is against By all Muslims, so that's that's my justification. All right, so leave behind a unit of pilgrims because they're trash, and we'll make up make our way up to Tbilisi together. Ah, uh, motherfucker! All right, public order issues. May need to leave a few sire. pilgrims here. Sire. Yes, sire. Hail my May actually need to leave him here. But if I put him on Crusade, there'll be a lot of extra units, I think. So just keep throwing units in there, and there we go. Hail my king! Hail my king! Crusade, and there's heaps of extra pilgrims. Hail my king! As you will. Yes. An honorable. Hey, it doesn't look like it's well defended. We should actually be able to attack that. Yes, my liege. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Laying siege. Hail, my king. As you will, my king, to battle. Laying siege, noble sire. Right, we good. shall prevail in this. And up siege, here, that's sire. owned by our allies, the Russians. So until they betray me, which will happen eventually. There's no need for us to go up north. We can take Tbilisi, then go straight to Trebizond, then Nicaea, and then that'll get rid of the Turks. Maybe I'll send you to go take out Nicaea. Is there any ships available here? No. Come too close, and I will not seem so ladylike. Yeah, you don't seem ladylike from a distance either. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 12 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.